Hello, it's Laura Firth and welcome to our Pilates stretch class today, focusing on the hips and the spine. So we're going to begin sitting with your legs crossed. Either way, and just begin to take a couple of breaths in through the nose. And then as you exhale, this time chin to chest to roll down through the spine and inhale to lift. Exhale again as you bring your chin to the chest and round halfway down through the spine. Inhale again to lengthen through the crown of the head, relaxing your shoulders down. And exhale, chin to the chest, round the upper back, but keep the shoulders down. Inhale to lift again and lengthen. And exhale to round. Just starting to warm up all the vertebrae. And again, exhale, chin to the chest, round the upper back and inhale to lift. Now we're going to begin to circle around. So bring your chest to the left and circle it around, keeping the hips in the same place. So trying to ground down through the sit bones. Even breath and then reverse the other way. So make the circles as big or as small as you like, whatever feels good, just to start to loosen up the spine and the hips at the same time. Keep length through the crown of the head as you breathe and you move. And bring the spine back to neutral. Inhale to lift both arms, circling them up. Interlace the fingers and then press the palms up towards the ceiling and then twist to your right. So think about the twist being around the waist and really draw the abdominals in and up. So it's the muscles that are making the twist happen. Bring yourselves back to centre. Bring the arms down in front of you. Uncross. Inhale again to lift the arms. Now interlace with the other interlace. Palms up and then turn into the left this time. Again, twisting around the waist, relaxing the shoulders down, reaching the palms up as high as you can. Bring yourself back to centre, relax the arms down in front of you. Inhale to lift the arms again, lengthening through the spine and drop the right arm. And then extend through the left arm, C-shaping the spine to the right. Keep lengthening and lift and then take yourself over to the left this time. Keeping the arm in line with the ear, chest widening. And then inhale, bring yourself back to centre. And then this time, twist into the right, take your left hand arm behind, right arm behind you, and left hand on your right knee. This time using the abdominal muscles and using the hands to just to see if you can go a bit further. Back to centre, inhale and then twist to the other side. So left hand behind, right hand on the left knee. And turn your head if that's okay on your neck to get a twist all the way through the spine. Breathe deep, just trying to relax the shoulders as you move through. Bring yourself back to centre. Now switch the cross of your legs. Inhale to lift, interlace the fingers again, palms up, and then exhale to twist around the waist again. Breathing deep, always finding length. Inhale back to centre, release the arms. Inhale to float them back up. Other interlace this time, palms press up and exhale to twist from around the waist using the abdominal muscles again. Always breathe deep just to release any tension we might create in the shoulders or the jaw on the neck. Inhale to lift and then right hand down, left arm extends, C shape in the spine to the right, keeping the left sit bone down. Inhale to restack and then exhale over to the left. Sit bones reach down and inhale, coming back to centre. Inhale to lift the arms and then twist into the right, right hand behind, left hand on the right knee. 
using the external muscles now to rotate. So the muscles in the arms as well as the abdominal muscles. Switching sides, inhale to lift, exhale to twist. Always draw the abdominals in to protect the spine. Inhale back to centre. And this time exhale, hinge from the hips, release the chest forwards. And then either hands, forearms or all the way down if you can, extending your arms forwards. Nice stretch through the spine and for the hips. So we always want to try and find length. So lifting forwards through the chest. Bring yourself back up, switch the cross of your legs. Inhale to lift and again hinge from the hips, coming forwards. Always finding length through the chest and through the crown of the head. Trying to relax through the body as you stretch. Bringing yourself back up. And then bring your knees and feet together and come into all fours. So knees under the hips, wrists and knees, shoulders for cat and cow. So inhale to cow and then exhale to cat, rounding the back, tucking the tailbone and releasing the head. Inhale to lift the chest and the head and the tailbone high. And then exhale to round the back and release. Really indulge in this pose or this movement. But never feel any pressure in the lower back, especially when you do cow and you're arching the back and the belly down towards the floor. Keep the abdominals in to protect the lower spine. Exhale to curl, really train round the back, then bring the hips towards the heels, extend the arms forwards for child's pose. Now feel that you're pressing into all ten fingers and you're trying to lift the forearms away. Get a nice stretch through the spine and into the shoulders as well. Bring yourself up, tuck your tailbone under and then start to lift the hips up into your downward dog. And then begin to lift one heel and then the other heel. So a really good pose this for lengthening the spine and the hamstrings. And you want to feel like the sit bones are trying to reach up towards the ceiling as much as you can as you press your chest back. Bring your knees down as you inhale and then exhale to crouch back, chest reaching down towards the floor. Inhale to lift and exhale back into downward dog. Take a breath here and then inhale, lower the knees slowly, exhale to take the hips back, extending the arms forwards. Inhale again and then exhale back into down dog. Every time finding a little bit more length, knees down. And this time keeping the hips high and untucking the toes, bring the chest down to find length through the spine. And then again, tuck the tailbone under, tuck the toes into down dog. Knees down. And you can keep the toes tucked or untucked as you keep the hips high to stretch more in towards the shoulders and then back into downward dog. So a slightly different version than coming into child's pose. Knees down, untucking the toes and this time take the knees a little bit wider, bring yourself up and then tuck your toes under. Interlace your fingers at your lower back and then extend your knuckles down towards the floor. So trying to straighten the arms but never lock the joints. Lift the chest. Now if the stretch through the feet is too much, then just untuck your toes and come down into any seated position that's good for you. Lifting the chest, and if it's okay for you, lifting the arms slightly behind you. Release. Untuck the toes. Cross the arms in front of you and give yourself a big hug rounding the upper back. And release. Tuck the toes under again. Interlace the fingers the other interlace. And then 
extend the thumbs back and the knuckles and lift the arms any amount, lifting the chest and lengthening through the crown of the head. Breathe deep and smoothly. Try and make your breath seamless. And slowly release, untuck the toes again and then hug yourself with the other arm on top, rounding the back. Drop the chin towards the chest if that's okay on your neck. And then release, bring yourself up. Bring yourself all the way down onto your front. And then bring your arms so your elbows are underneath your shoulders and wrists in line with the elbows. So in Sphinx pose. Inhale here and then exhale to lift, press into the palms, lifting the elbows and the forearms, any amount. And exhale to lift. Now the main thing here we want to think about is squeezing the butt together, just lightly. Pressing all ten toes into the floor and engaging the thighs. And the abdominals drawing in really strong to protect the lower back. So we always exhale as we extend the spine and inhale to lower down. You don't have to come as high as me, just come as high as you feel best for your body today. And lowering down nice and slow. Release the arms, slide the hands back towards the ribs. And then into Cobra or Up Dog. And then tuck your toes, come back into Downward Dog tailbone high and then walk the hands and feet towards each other. Feet hip width apart and then just come into a forward fold. Just feel the soothing effect that forward folds have. If you want to straighten the knees more, bring your hips further over the heels. And then we're going to bring ourselves down onto our back. So however is best for you. Rolling yourself down. Bring your feet a little bit closer in towards your body and then exhale as you tuck the tailbone under into bridge. So we stretch out the front. Now we're going to stretch a little bit more in towards the hip flexors. So we're exhaling to lift the hips, rolling up through the spine. Butt squeeze and tailbone lengthens to the back of the knees and inhale to roll down again. Exhale as you lift and tuck the hips under. Really lengthen the tailbone. Just feel the weight towards the heels. And then relax it down. Extend your right leg up towards the ceiling and hold anywhere behind the, the leg. It might be the shin or the thigh. I'm going to inhale to bend your right knee and exhale to straighten. Inhale to bend and exhale to straighten. See if you can go a little bit deeper. No worries if not. And if you like, you can extend the left leg along the floor or keep the knee bent. Keep the spine lengthening along the floor and keep the abdominals engaged. And then take your left hand to your left hip. Take your right hand to the outer edge of your right leg. And then let your right leg just come out to the right. So you'll feel the stretch now. Just a little bit more towards the inner thigh. But we're still trying to keep the abdominals engaged. Inhale that centre. Bend the right knee. And then take the right knee over to the left. Using the left hand on the outer edge of your right knee. Right hand just taking it out to the right side and just relax here. So with every exhale, trying to release a little bit further. Inhale back to centre. Hook your right knee in towards the chest. Take a couple of circles with the ankle one way and then reverse in the other direction. And then replace the left foot on the floor. Cross the right angle just past the left knee. Flex your right ankle and then hold behind the left thigh or left shin. Pull the legs in, press the right knee wide 
And you feel like the hips are grounding down, just stretching off a bit more into the hips. Or the outer hip. So we've done the back of the hip, the inner side of the hip, and now we're doing the outer. And release. Switch inside, so extend the left leg up this time. Hold in the back of the thigh or the shin, and if you like, you can extend the right leg along the floor. Inhale to bend in, exhale to extend. And again, inhale to bend, exhale to extend. Inhale to bend, exhale to see if you can go a little bit deeper, maybe. Inhale to bend. Exhale to extend. Once again, inhale to bend. Exhale to extend. Inhale to bend. And exhale. Right hand to right hip to remind yourself to ground it down. And then take the left leg out to the left side. Stretching out the inner side of the hip and the thigh. Breathe nice and smoothly, trying to release any tension. Inhale back centre, bend the left knee. Right hand to the inner edge, of, out the outer edge of the left leg, sorry. And then take the left knee over to the right side. And breathe in deep and relax in into the stretch. Try and relax the feet and the ankles, just like I did. Trying to find tension lurking in places that we don't know it's happening. Now back right centre. And bend the right knee, right foot on the floor, cross the left ankle past the right knee, flex in the left ankle and then draw the leg in. Hand to the shin or the back of the right leg, or thigh. <coughs> Excuse me. Keep trying to press the left knee nice and wide, grounding the hips down as you breathe nice and deep. Slowly release. Hook both knees into the chest. Give yourself a really big hug. And then roll yourself up. Take a couple of rolls on the back. Or you can roll yourself up to one side and bring yourself back up to seated. And then you can cross your legs. Take your foot onto your shin or onto your knee. Or cross it over fully so your knees are on top of each other into cow face pose. Inhale here and then exhale to hinge from the hips. Hands to the floor or extend the arms forwards if you can. Now it doesn't matter here if you stay up sitting as long as you can feel a stretch. Again inhale into fine length and exhale just find the release in areas of tension. Inhale to come back up and switch legs. So either cross in, cross the left ankle or foot on the shin, on the left right knee, or cross the leg completely over so your left knee is over your right knee. Inhale to lift and then exhale to come forwards. Hinging from the hips with a long spine Lifting through the crown of the head. Breathing smoothly and deeply in your stretches. Bring yourself back up. Uncross your legs and then come into any seated position. Breathing in, lifting the arms and exhale. Breathing in to lift the arms again and exhale. Inhale to lift and exhale. One more breath and inhale and exhale. Thank you for joining me today for this nice relaxing hip and twist stretching class and I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share. And I hope to see you next week. Thank you. Bye.